Scarlett says, any suggestions for how to write promo emails for speaking gigs I committed to without losing subscribers? We can all relate to this. <laughs> um, part of the speaking engagement is that I send out four emails. That's a lot, Scarlett. And I use the organizer's templates, but I'm getting unsubscribes, which I feel is hurting my business. Okay. So I'm, I'm so glad you asked this question. I have strong feelings about this. So first of all, let's just talk about mechanically, technically add this to your emails. Okay. If you don't want to hear about this promotion, but you want to keep receiving my other emails, click here and we'll remove you. Okay. And then you, what you're going to do is you're going to tag them. They'll automatically get tagged when they click that so that they're removed from that speaker series that you're doing and you don't have to bug them anymore. So how do I do that? Wow. Okay. What email system do you have? MailChimp. So basically, I don't know, but Nika, do you know how to do, Nika might be able to. I'm not sure if the tagging in the email is yeah. available in MailChimp. Oh, it has so to be. I mean, there's tagging, but I didn't know I could take somebody out, I guess. So what it'll do, it'll add them to another list. So they have lists in MailChimp. So like when they click that, you're going to have them added to another list. And the name of that list is going to be like, do not promote whatever the name of the series is. Then when you send your emails, the rest of your emails out, you're going to send it to this list and you're going to say, don't send it to this list. I remember now it's all about lists and MailChimp, right? Is it still lists and MailChimp? Yeah. Yeah. So, and we'll look and see if we can find like a tutorial to, I mean, not our tutorial, but like something out there to send to you, but it's not, it's not complicated, but this is the, this is the technical way to do it. Now let's talk about the bigger picture. The problem with summits and these sort of list building things that you sign on for is that they do ask you to send emails to your list. And sometimes when we do these summits, we don't necessarily know who all the people are. I'm not saying this is you. So I just want to take an opportunity to say, if you agree to do a summit, make sure you know the other people that are in the summit, that they have good reputations, that they, um, that they are aligned with what you're doing and all that stuff. And I'm sure you've done that, Scarlett, but I just had to say, based on my own mistake, that I had to put that out there. I, I guess, so I'm in good company. But like, I mean, somebody I know who did who did opt in the first day, she got five emails from the person who's running the summit. And that to me is excessive. So I don't know if I should mention this to the person after the summit, but that seemed excessive in one day. Um, but I was thinking, <laughs> do I have the, I mean, I think I can do this and say going forward, I will happily promote, but will not send out multiple emails. Like, I don't think I want to commit to this anymore. Mm. Well, you're already committed to the one that you're in. Yeah. How I'm, many emails have you sent out? I sent out about, after the second one using her kind of template, I then used my own words, my own my own language. Including how many have you sent out total? Four, but- Okay, well, you're done. That's good. I was yeah. going to say, if you had any left, technically you could just do one of your regular emails and then a blurb down below if you had to do you know what i mean but it, it does get um but here's the other thing i want to say if you're part of a really good summit with a group of people who you're really excited about and they don't hit people with five emails a day it still could be a smart move for you for for list building and a great way to get exposure and there is no way around the fact that you will always lose email subscribers it's just part of it and it's not just doing that. It's any launch that we do. Anytime we send out a promotion, we're, you're, you're just going to lose, you're gonna. So you just have to sort of take it on the chin and know that that's like part of the, that's part of it. And then either be okay with it or not, but it just goes with the territory, even with the best summits, even with the people who don't hammer their list with five, five emails a day, people just, we're going to opt out. Okay. And then and the thing, and I, the, you know, I don't know why, but I'm very popular lately. I have like five or six of these things. And the other one I'm supposed to start promoting now. And I'm like, oh my God, what, what have I done? I mean, like, well, it's great. This is a great time. This is a great time for planning. Like a lot of us start planning for the, you know, for, for next year now and, you know, start putting in there, you know, summits for first quarter and even second quarter and like start spacing them out because they are, you are a perfect person for summits. Like you're a great fit into a lot of these professional development and 
I mean, you sort of fit anywhere. So it's like you. you are a good good person to to bring in, in into a summit. Um, so you can be picky and choosy and you can also just look at your calendar and make space for them so you don't surprise yourself and surprise, you know what I mean? You just want to yeah. be real intentional about it. Right. It's like, it's like you want a video, but you get triplets. So yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Love that. Okay. 